It is 310 on your hometown station, KHTS, the 10th annual KHTS Home and Garden Show and Emergency Expo is now less than two months away. Can you believe it? Wow. We're already back. I know. I know. And uh, you're not going crazy. There's another voice in the studio. That's Jan Sandstrom. Did I say it correctly, Jan? Yes, you did. Thank you. Welcome to the uh, KHTS studios here in Old Town Newhall. You, you are of JCD Creations. Yes. What do you guys do over there? We home sew virtually everything. Um, my sister, my daughter, and I like to create things. And so my sister sews the blankets. I sew the microwave bowl cozies as well as the designer towels. My daughter helps out with different areas of the business. And we just have a good time. We're all fabriholics. So all someone has to do is say, oh, do you have? And we make it our mission to find that fabric. Right. I saw that on the website. I was wondering, what is a fabriholic? How far have you gone to find the right fabric? Um, I have actually, my oldest sister lives in Idaho City, Idaho. And so I have gone to Boise. No way. Um, yes. You drove out there? Well, I drove up there to visit her. And then at the same time, I had to go shopping for fabric. Of course. You know? Is there better fabric in Boise than there is out here? Um, there's a different line of product in really? Boise. And interestingly, it's like, um, for instance, your wild animals. We are more inclined to find uh, moose fabric or elk fabric here in Southern California than they are in Boise, Idaho, which is where you're going to find elk and moose and deer and things like that. Is that because, you know, the animals are kind of just grazing out there? It's more, you know, it's maybe a little bit less liberal. You don't know. You know? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe they're feeling a little challenged by having all of those animals there in the store. So you mentioned all the products, yes. the blankets, the the uh, koozies. Yes. I like the panhandle sleeves. Yes, and I feel bad. I didn't bring any with me today, but I love making them, and I can make them in any kind of fabric that you want, any colors, any theme. Um, all you have to do is just say to me, hey, I want. Just give I you want. a general idea. Are yeah. most of the products you make kind of uh, custom products or do you just make general blankets and sell those as well? Um, I'm going to say it's probably about 80-20. Most of them are patterns that we like and so we buy. Uh -huh. And then the rest of them are special orders where somebody wants a specific sports team or um, maybe they have somebody who's really into wine, you know. Yes, and Jan so. has products on display <laughs> in the KHTS studio. If you can check us out on our Facebook page, we're live there. She has them on display, beautiful products. They look very comfortable. What's the biggest blanket you've ever made? The biggest blanket that we have ever made, and actually I have to give kudos to my sister because she's the one who makes them. Um, we did make jean blankets for the fire station in Silmar. And that blanket was roughly about 12 feet by 8 feet. Massive. Massive. Absolutely massive. How long does it take to make a blanket that size? Um, it takes generally to make a blanket that size probably about 6 hours or more. Um, wow. You know, yes. Do you knock that out in one sitting? Do you take a whole weekend? <laughs> Is it a kind of week-long project? Um, well, what she does, like what I do, is she kind of switches off. And so instead of staying with one product at a time, then she'll move to something else. And that way you're not going to get bored with, you know, just looking at that one pattern. Right, going stir crazy. Yes, exactly. We're talking about Jan Sandstrom of JCD Creations. They will be uh, joining us at the 10th Annual KHS Home and Garden Show, which is taking place a little less than two months from today, April 27th and 28th. At Central Park, and you can't find a better deal than this. Free 99, open to the public. We had a little over 20,000 people last year. I think we're expecting like 25,000 people this wow. year, Jen. It's crazy. This is not your first home and garden show, but is this, this is the first one in a while for you, right? Yes, it is. And I'm really looking forward to... Um the advancements that have been made, you know, naturally when you have something that you're starting out with, it's not going to be as, you know, um, well attended as your 10th one. Sure. And so now you've moved to a larger location. Um, you have a lot of terrific vendors. I've been looking at the vendors that are there. A lot of them I know. SCVHomeShow.com for the full list of vendors. Yes. You yes. were with us at the Hyatt when we were doing it at the Hyatt. 
Yes, I was at the Hyatt, I'm going to say probably about nine years ago. So it was like right at the beginning. So you've been riding with us for a yes, long time. You're yes. a ride or die. Do you get a discount because you were one of the first people with us? Uh, well, no, not that, okay. but that's okay. That's I might have all to right. talk to Carl for you about that yes. one. Yes. You know, it's, um, it's still the price for participating. Um, there's a lot of variety in prices. And so just depending on what your personal budget can afford, then you can be a vendor as well and let other people see what it is that you do. Now, blankets, all of these are handmade. Yes. Up for sale. But you guys do a lot of donation, right? Yes. Yes, we do. Um, we donate to Project Linus, both the Project Linus here in Santa Clarita and give a shout out to Sharon Garver because that's her big thing. Shout and out! Yes, yes. <laughs> and she is at Canyon Academy of the Canyons. Okay. And her students actually do sew blankets as well. So we donate flat fabric to them. We also donate blankets. And these go to children who are in hospitals or abused. Um, we do also donate to the Project Linus in the San Fernando Valley, as well as Project Linus in Boise. Um, we donate to the Optimus, and a lot of it is because a blanket is warm, cozy, and comfortable. And so we want children who have that special need to have that extra little bit of comfort. So that's our way of giving back. Jan Sandstrom of JCD Creations. Beautiful work. It looks cozy. Will we have products up for sale at the Home and Garden Show? Oh, we are going to have not only the blankets, the towels, and the microwave bowl cozies, but we'll also have the panhandle cozies. We carry dog poles. We have potato zapper bags. So instead of turning on your oven to just bake one potato for 45 minutes, you can put your potato inside of the bag, stick it inside of the microwave, and within five minutes, you've got a baked potato that is just perfect get out of here five I minutes five i've minutes. never heard of this did it, you create the potato zapper bag i would love to say i created the potato zapper bag but no i did not no. but i do carry them i also carry refrigerator handle covers and something interesting whether or not you believe this it's true the dirtiest place in your kitchen is behind that refrigerator handle i'm and not going to argue with that one and so i carry the handle covers and so it covers that entire handle. And that way, all of those little grimies that you get on your hand are only going to get on those. And then you wash them, dry them, put them right back up again, and everything is good. Well, I am excited to see the entire display on display yes. at the 10th Annual KHS Home Garden Show coming up April 27th and 28th. Full list of vendors at scvhomeshow.com. If you want to check out and preview some of the items that Jan and the entire JCD team is going to have on display go to their facebook page at jcd creations jan thank you so much for coming in you're welcome and i'll thank see you at the Aaron. show of yes course. i look forward to it awesome 318 time for a quick break stay tuned more music coming up